Your family owes the mob money. How much? Too much. He murdered your family. It's time for them to pay. So without a doubt, you can honestly say that Mafia 3 is a fantastic game. But my name is Freakshire, and this is going to be the first ever game review that is on my channel. This is something that I want to work out recently, and let's get right into Mafia 3, guys. New Bordeaux's more than an outline on a map. It's a collection of districts, cultures, people. One thing that I believe Mafia 3 excels at, the fact that they observe. separated it with districts, rackets, and all of that, they target. did it perfectly, just like the 1960s. This one really hit me back in the memories, you know? For the reason that one of my old favorite games, The Godfather, that game as well had rackets, and it was the best, and that is the one game that I truly miss to this day. And as example, here's the French culture of Mafia 3. Perfect smiles, southern They look all nice on the inside, but really on the outside. A facade. Just because the knife comes out of a monogram sleeve doesn't mean it won't cut your throat. This is where the main plot of the story is introduced, and where the revenge factor comes on it from Lincoln Clay, the character that you play in this game. The ex-veteran Lincoln expected to come home just to say a couple goodbyes and then continue his life and move to LA. Never had to bleed in a jungle just to find your real brothers. But, you know, without any spoilers, he couldn't make his way out of the town exactly first because he kind of got into, well, I mean, uh, a... a a big revenge spree and murder and killing and police and drugs, prostitute, you, you know, you, you even with me saying that Mafia 3 is a great game, I'm not saying it's a perfect game, it does definitely have its flaws. It's had a little bit of a rough launch, I guess you can say. It did originally come out with a frame lock of 30 frames per second rather than 60, so that kind of outraged everybody, but all I can really say to that is, lower your fucking standards, it's a game. And throughout different segments and in specific lights, the game sometimes doesn't really look next-gen, I guess you can say, but really, it, honestly, you won't even notice. You'll probably just drive right by it and just be like, oh, that looked odd. And one of the other things that I've heard people complaining about in this game is the driving. This one, I can in a sense agree. The driving, sure, it's not the best. It's not the worst either. It's not watchdogs, but you know, it's just, it, it's mediocre at best. It feels really archaic and you can really zip through the city like, just like nothing. But with me saying that, it lines up into my biggest complaint, the only complaint that I really contracted from this game. I repeat, I did not contract an STD from Mafia 3. But something I did seem to notice in the game is that whenever you rip by police, you can cut them off, you can pretty much hit them. I have once hit a squad car, and they didn't do anything. Literally. Nothing. Nothing. You're fucking cops. I'm sorry, but that is your goddamn job if someone's driving on the opposite side of the road, going fucking 120 and nearly killing half of the neighborhood. I mean, yeah, you might want to slow that down there, buddy. But in my opinion, you know, besides all of those points, Mafia 3 is a fantastic game, and I recommend that you should get it, because this game is just such an experience. Even though if at times the game comes across as repetitive with the whole district system. But other than that, Mafia 3 is a beautiful game. I was very satisfied with it. Being a able to be back in 1960s New Orleans as the black character Lincoln Clay and you know I'm only saying the black character because you know that's the actual time period it makes a difference whenever you drive by police cars they make sure to keep a keen eye on you they don't let go of you or sometimes when you're walking down the street the odd person will exchange a dirty look at you if you know you're in the wrong neighborhood just because of your skin color and this game is very much related around race so the times were very different the times were tough and it makes a very amazing atmosphere to be in once again you know and one thing that i really wish 2k kind of put more thought into was the customization of everything in the game i wish you can change up lincoln clay's clothes and stuff whenever you really feel like it you know there's stores and stuff for his apparel his looks all of that you know because if you're rolling with high money and why only buy big guns and grenades i feel like 2k really wanted this to be a big hit but they kind of sold short of it which is totally okay considering who they are it's 2k they're not the biggest game company but you know they're still a solid game company and i still did enjoy my Mafia 3, and I'm sure a lot of people did as well. Sure, it had its ups and downs, but really, overall, it is an entertaining video game. But it doesn't explain how Lincoln Clay took down the entire city in the summer of 68. Power.
but overall, in my opinion, the true game review, I think that Mafia 3 was a fantastic game for what it was out to be as. It reached its ultimate goal, it was a game about revenge. Lincoln got his revenge, he did all he could to take down the city and take down all of the stocks, the rackets and all. You know, just fucking slay some hookers and get some fucking cocaine businesses. And you know, all that good stuff. So if you're a casual gamer, or even if you do really like video games in general, I do recommend you pick up Mafia. Sure, it does have some, you know, repetitive aspects to it, but really it... Whatever. A video game is a video game, it's out there to be enjoyed, so just enjoy it. Go play it, have fun with it, and I hope you did enjoy today's video. This game review, remember to leave a like to support this new series and the new things that are going to be coming on my channel. More videos like this, I hope you guys do enjoy, and as usual, remember to stay positive, and peace out, guys. Damn it. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you don't like the video? You're fucking nice. Take over all your stocks, I'll fuck you up, boy. I might be using the exact same animations every single time, but fucking get you, boy. Well, anyways, peace. Did you help Lincoln Clay murder Sal Marcano and all prominent members of his crime family? You're goddamn right I did. Hold my head, oh baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Okay.